Hey there guys, um, I'm just, uh, I've had a few problems with my drum brake recently, um, which has been a good old trusty thing for the last probably over 10 years, uh, so it's done a few thousand miles now at least, um, probably cycle about 20 miles on average a week I suppose, so that's 1000 miles a year I think, and so this has probably done about a minimum of minimum of 10,000 miles on this drum brake and uh, I've found what's happened is that uh, this arm here which actuates the shoes inside uh, the travel has become longer and longer so over the time period I've had it and um, we'll open it up in a minute uh, there's a little cam inside here which twists around and um, the further the arm goes, the more prone it is to jamming when it's not lubricated properly. And so, whilst I used to take this apart every two or three years uh, just to grease the cam, it's the only maintenance I've ever done on this really, um, the, uh, recently that's become more frequent. And I've actually, for the last couple of years, I've had to take it apart once a year to, to do that. So, here I've got. Um, a whole new drum brake I bought. Um, it's um, brand new, and uh, I bought the whole thing because uh, it's got the dynamo on the other side you can use, and the actual um, body as well will be useful if that's become worn. Um, this was the, the whole thing's ninety pounds. And to buy a replacement set of shoes is 50 plus postage, so 55. So I thought I'll just get the whole thing and then I have some spares hanging around, which is probably not the best idea, but uh, there you go. But anyway, you can see that the um, arm on this one doesn't move nearly so much as this one. See, that? that's probably got about over an inch of travel in it at the moment before it's engaged whilst this one here yeah probably like less than half an inch before it uh, before the pads hit the hit the drum so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this um, break uh, sh what do they call it brake plate assembly off this one here and I'm going to put it inside the old one and then we'll have a look and see what's happening it might be that the actual uh, hub itself is worn down on the inside or something and we end up with a kind of in-between thing, um, but we'll see. So to take this brake plate off, you just take the wheel nut off and then adjustable span on here, take that locking nut off the top and then this will all slide off. So here you go, taking this little locking nut off here, there's a spacer that comes off and then this just slides off like that. Now I sh should say that forcing this upgrade is me being a bit idiotic and uh, trying to take a shortcut I sprayed some um, GT85 which is like a PTFE lubricant on, on that spindle to try and free it up when it was jamming and it tracked through and went all over the brake pads which are now ruined and despite cleaning them with um, brake cleaner and that sort of thing it uh, hasn't done any good so um, I'm just going to give the inside of here a white round with a bit more brake cleaner. It's just the automotive stuff you get. It's got some nasty things in it, so you probably want to wear some gloves. Um, I'm using this uh, this Holtz one here. Um, it's got all sorts of horrific things in it, uh, so you don't breathe it in. And I'm just and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit on a rag and I'm going to wipe it around the inside of here. Um, because what I don't want to happen is uh, I don't want to get any brake cleaner fluid on that cartridge bearing in the middle. So I've got all the uh, various um, bits open now and just sort of have a quick look at them, see what's happened over the last 10 years. Uh, here you can see the brand new um, set of shoes on the left and the old ones on the right. And I don't know if you can make it out on the um, video but uh, the um, 
old pads are noticeably thinner, but not as much as I thought, to be honest. Which leads me to think how many more years I could have got out of this set of pads, really. Probably the same again if I hadn't been a foolish man and spilt uh, Teflon lubricant all over them. So, um, but having said that, they do, it does jam up quite badly. This is the little problem thing here. It's a, um, a kind of uh, oblong piece of metal and when you when you turn the when the brake arm on the other side is pulled up it just twists like this and pushes the parts pads apart um, now why that's been jamming up more frequently I don't really know I've been using the same type of grease I always have perhaps I've been braking harder I don't know really no. Anyway, let's look inside the actual drum and see what's going on. So there's the new one. Um, there's no really visible difference. There's some pitting, which I've just talked about in a previous video on the inside of this one here. Um, and can we see? No, that's there as well. There's a little lip around the bottom. Um, which is present in this one as well, so it's not due to it being worn down or anything. So it looks in reasonably good quality, the drum condition, the drum. Uh, I wonder what year they were, these were made in. So that I think this one was made in 2007. From looking at that. November 2007. And is this one, this has got a 9, doesn't go up, so it must be 2019. May 2019. So, yeah, like I say, it's probably 10, 11 years old I've been use, using it for. So there you go, there's the old one. doesn't look like it's too worn out, but something weird going on with the function of this arm and how that little cam works there. Perhaps a lighter lubricant or no lubricant. Maybe that's the answer, because otherwise you might get brake dust stuck in there. Um, perhaps it's um, something else. But yeah, don't get lubricant on your brake blocks, because it really messes them up. I'm a bit annoyed I did that. So anyway, we're going to fit this one back in here now, and uh, go for a test ride, and uh, and see how it goes. Right, one last tip, which I forgot about, is uh, make sure that when you put your, um, you can just about see the arm on the other side here for the brake sticking up, and the dynamo contact thingy, this thing here, okay, needs to be sticking in roughly the same direction. And then that way, um, the connector will be tucked in behind your fork stanchion, rather than sticking out the bottom where it can get hit by things. Okay. So this is the new set of pads and just before I was putting them in I thought I'd check to see uh, whether this um, little um, cam thing here is lubricated and it's not, it's dry. So that would suggest that you ought to try and keep, keep you ought to keep it that way um, over the lifetime. I did notice when I opened up the old one which I had lubricated it was a lot of brake dust was all muddled up with the grease and maybe gone a bit sticky. So I think, yeah, um, brake cleaner only inside. And maybe if you're going to do a service in here, not to lubricate that, just um, just put some brake cleaner on. I mean, it doesn't make too much difference, I just suppose, but um, there you go.